your old buddy Dave, and I have something amazing to show you today. What's this? Dave, you're on camera. Yeah, I'm on camera. I'm never on camera. Well, here I am today. Maybe my first, last, and only time I'm on camera, but here I am. Anyway, today, something special. Something amazing. <clears throat> and here it is. I have to get up, so I'm not on camera. How about that? What I have to show you today is this. Welcome to my desk, my main desk, the desk where I spend most of my time. I'm actually sitting down to watch email or do something. Hey, it zooms out. How about that? And look at it. It's clean, clean as far as the eye can see. This is a big desk. This desk is six feet four inches long, 76 inches by four and a half feet wide. That is a big desk. I had a computer on here that I built in 2003. So, and this is 2015 right now. It's been 12 years since, I would say this desk has been totally clean. If this desk wasn't big enough, it's also got two pull-out leaves that are Probably about 15 inches, 18 inches, something like that. I take measures way over there. By about a foot wide. But I'm on that side. And it's got drawers. Anyway, since I built a computer and had everything on here, there were wires going everywhere. This was back in the days when printers were parallel printers. And when I went to a USB printer and then network printer, I just left those cables behind. Paper stacked up and it was a big mess. To truly appreciate how messy it was, let's take a trip to the past, where you can see for yourself. Welcome back in time to the land of the messy desk. Oh, yeah, here are the cats. Yeah, Cats who are accustomed to spending on time on top of the computer monitors, climbing all over the desk. But there's a lot of papers and things here, so hopefully in the future, all this will be clean and new. We can still have the cats, but you'll have to find a new place to sit. So, here in the past, I had two monitors. Two monitors that cats would like to climb up on and sit. And they would lounge on top of my keyboard. And here we have a... Oh, I believe that's a, yeah, that's a mid-tower with a uh, zip drive. Remember the zip drive? I didn't think so. Uh, that's the Colorado, HP Colorado, that's right, they merged way back when. And a uh, docking station. I know, they're cheap, but it works, so uh, what the heck. And we've got the TARDIS USB controller, which is not currently hooked up to anything. And down under there is my... Drobo. Yeah. Drobo. With four drives in it. I'll have to check out what they are because I don't remember. But it's not at capacity, so. Anyway, this is what things used to be like. So, and a couple Altai glancing speakers. And a subwoofer down below. So, hopefully in the future those will still be here. But everything will be clean. Right, Nugget? Yep. So that's the way things are here in the past. Let's see how they are in the future. Messy, wasn't it? Well, this desk has been cleaned for about five minutes. Now I'm going to put something on it. This is going to be the replacement for the computer I had before. It is a shuttle. I built the last computer. I'm building this one. And when I say build, I mean assemble. So, this is what's coming in to take its place. So, from this point on, there will probably be something on this desk for another 10, 12, 15, who knows how many years. But, I should be able to clean it more often. That's the plan. Before, I was going for big. Because bigger is better, right? 
Right. Well, Shuttle is a low profile PC. It's a bare bones system. Comes with a motherboard. I haven't opened this box yet. It's been here for three or four days and I haven't opened it yet. That's going to change today. Goal for this weekend clean off the desk, put this together. So I will show you some progress along the way. We have new monitors. You saw I had two, two monitors before. And for the time being, I believe I'm going to have one monitor. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, that's that. Stay tuned. Oh, by the way, a word about cleaning. The desk may be clean, but cleaning's really an illusion. Because often, cleaning is nothing more than shuffling the mess. And by shuffling, cables. Those cables are all down there. And there's still more down there that I left behind. I'm going to try to clean those up too. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon and for the rest of my life. So anyway, that's that. Hang in there. Here we okay, go. before we go any further, I thought I would show you what I've got here. This is going to be. I will say I'm not a big fan of unboxing videos, so I'm not going to. Not in front of the camera anyway. I might show you stuff along the way, but I will tell you what it is. Computer. This is a blah, blah, blah. oh there it is it is a shuttle model SZ87R6 or if you're in the the world outside of the US it is a model SZ87R6 it's in here as far as the components that are going into it we're going to put lots of bubble wrap in it. Yeah, maybe not. I said I didn't like unboxing. Hard drive is a 3 terabyte Western Digital model WD3003FZEX. See, I did the Z first that time. I thought you might appreciate it. If you don't, I still did it first. <clears throat> processor is an Intel Core i5 processor. Model. Yeah. i5 4590, I believe that was the model. There it is. There's the hard drive, not my sleeve. I did want a second hard drive. I did not get a second hard drive. Um, memory. Hey, packing list. That will help out a lot. Um, CPU. Intel Core i5 4590, 3.3 GHz, uh, 6 meg uh, cache. Memory. I ordered the Kingston KVR 16LN 11K2. So, two 16 gig sticks for a total of 32. That was the theory, anyway. I figure if I'm going to max it out, I might as well max it out early and get the use out of it. I did not go for a Blu-ray drive. It's got a DVD. It's an LG. I'm doing an unboxing. I said I wasn't going to do an unboxing. Why didn't you stop me? It's an LG. Life's good, you know. LG... Um, GH24NSC0B. I'm not going to repeat that, so if you didn't catch it the first time, play back the video. This, in just a second, I got a keyboard-mouse combo. Since we're not doing unboxing, you'll have... 
I have to wait till later to actually see what it is, but I'll tell you what it is. It is... Hmm. Yeah, I can't, I'm not seeing it on here. I know I ordered it, I know they shipped it, I'm not seeing it. So I'll get straight to the thing that I wasn't going to show you till later. Windows, Microsoft. No, I'm not going Linux. I've got other options for Linux, Linux, with Raspberry Pi. This is Windows. I debated Windows 7 or Windows 8.1. What do you think? What do you think I got? This is a desktop. It's a... It's a desktop. I'm not opposed to Windows 8.1, although for what I'm doing, I thought Windows 7 might be a better fit. It's not to say someday I wouldn't put 8.1 on here. I have upgraded Windows on other PCs before. By upgrade, I mean reinstall the entire system. Did not do that with my old PC that you saw in the past. But it's usually a good thing if you do. Start with a clean slate. So anyway, that's what's going to be Windows 7. And we'll get more into the details of this beast. I've also got a couple accessories. I've got a Drobo uh, drive... Uh, pseudo raid thing which is sitting behind the camera from the old PC which is going to come in the new one. I've got a multifunction docking port which is going to be going on here too. Other than that I'm going to try to keep it simple. So anyway that's the latest and greatest. I'll show you more as we go. Hey and here it is. This is what it's like open. There are three screws on the back. One, two, and three that hold the case on. Uh, take those out, case slides off and up and out. And this is the drive cage which is up here in the front. It comes out after you take out two screws. This screw and the one over here. So take those out, that comes up and out. <coughs> the fan! fan is over here right now. Supervisor is there. The plug for the fan, you have to unplug it. Let's see where? There's a white socket right there. Unplug that from the socket and unscrew four screws from the back. Yeah. Those four screws that were on about where you expect a fan just on the back side and that gives you access to the heat sink that the fan blows on and one thing that's kind of unique about shuttle is they've got these funky heat pipes that go from the CPU up front here to back to the heat sink that the fan blows on and keeps it cool in order to release these Probably before you do any of that, there are four um, standoffs, if you will. That I believe these used to be screws. I'm going to pull this out so I can show you better. But uh, basically, you just kind of give them a twist to release them and then pull up gently uh, because they're, they're normally down and they only come up maybe an eighth of an inch. But they are. side view. They're keyed. Yeah, the one close one here. When you twist it, it pops them out of their little hole down here around the CPU socket. Because there is no CPU in it yet. This is released by pulling that out. And that springs up, and this plastic thing can come off. If 
put it on top of the case for now. We shouldn't be needing it anymore. There's where our CPU goes. Down in there. Which means... Hello. Oh. I have to get it out of the box here. Probably hear some uh, saxophones upstairs. Here's a saxophone uh, quartet in my living room, practicing, practicing everything except what they uh, came to practice. Yeah, well, could be worse. So, so I'm gonna cut here and come back in just a second. Before I go in, I'm going to point one thing out. There's a triangle in one corner here. It's not in any of the other corners. And that corresponds to the motherboard. You can see down here. Let's apply some light. On the motherboard itself, outside of the socket, there is another triangle. Right there. As he says as he puts his finger in front of the light. Right. right there. So anyway, the idea is to put the CPU in with the triangles aligning. Because that's where pin 1 is. I assume most people have put together a computer before and stuck a socket in. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through everything just in case. So, once it's in, the triangle on the CPU board matches the triangle on the motherboard. Now, we should be able to, without forcing, close this guy down. And I'm probably going to have to, well, maybe I won't have to put the camera down. One, two. in place. I'm just paranoid about forcing it. There we go. It's in. One thing that is not included that you're going to need to pick up before you go any further is thermal paste. Well, oh, hang on. It's one box I have it open. I said I don't like unboxings. But I'd still be surprised if it was actually in here. Let's both be surprised together. And da, 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 da. holy cow, what do you know? Thermal paste. Hallelujah. So let me apply some of that. I am gonna to have to put the camera down for this. We'll be back in a second. Uh, anyway, well, I'll tell you what we're gonna do, and then I'm gonna do it, because I can't hang on to this. And the tripod's way over there, and it'd only be on the way and all that stuff. We're gonna smear it on the back of the CPU here. Then we're going to take the heat uh, sink unit and just kind of screw it back down in place because thermal paste will create a bond between this copper, looks like copper plate on the, that attaches to the heat tubes and the CPU to transfer the heat away from it. So uh, I, I'm guessing there's a you may not need it, although if you're if it, if it's getting hot and you don't have good airflow, it uh, it can only help, right? So anyway, uh, I'm gonna put it on, slap the thing down, and we'll be back. One more thing, no one no one's ever told me how much is enough, too little or too much. I kind of globbed it on like that. So there you go, and there you have it. I've put the uh, heat plate back on top. I've screwed, I've pushed down and screwed down the four corner posts and it does feel fairly secure right now. I'm not going to try to budge it. The, uh, the heat sink is flush against the cage in the back so now it's time 
think I need to do anything else. So I think I have access. Yeah, CPU is done. I have access to the front for the memory, access to the SATA ports for the drives. I think I'm good to go. And motherboard power, I saw it plugged in. Yeah, it's plugged in, so all that's ready. Doesn't hurt to check things though. <clears throat> so, anyway, uh, now I gotta take out those screws that I put on so I wouldn't lose them. No, I didn't put them on, I put them back. But anyway, I need to put the fan back on. Back in a sec. Although the instructions don't come right out and say it, they they do show an example, two examples of memory. One where half the memory's in, one where the, all slots are filled. The, uh, in the one where only half the slots are filled, they populate the yellow ones first. So I'm gonna go with that as, an, as the way to go. If you've never done this before, there's a little notch in the center. One side is longer, one side is shorter. If you look down in here, one side is longer, one side is shorter. And, uh, can I do this one-handed? Probably not. As you can see, I've got one in. Hang on. Then you line up, after you stick the thing in with a notch of the memory, of the dim, lined up with the notch in the socket. I typically, oh, before you even put it in, you got to pull back the tabs. I'll do it on the red there. I pulled it back on the yellow. I tend to um, tend to push down evenly. Pull it, make sure it's near near that it's in. Then I push down firmly, kind of alternating between end to end. Hear that snap? That snapped over the top of that. Then I will go to the far end. And it snapped in there. So. Now I've got both of them in. Should be 16 gig. I'm pretty sure that's what I ordered. I hope it's what I ordered. I think it's what I ordered. I'll check my order. Once I have a computer, to check it out. Actually, I've got other computers, but... So, we're making progress. This thing's going to be assembled tonight. So, next to the drives. We have a DVD and we've got a hard drive. Hard drive I can deal with. DVD question's gonna be what about this front plate here. Well if that's gonna if I wanna leave that one. Let's take it out. Good question. Back in a second. It's kinda interesting, I think, what they're trying to do here. I'm not sure I like it. I think I'm used to the let let me look at my my optical drives. I think they're they want to keep the look of the plain front of the thing. The uh, what I've done is you can see that the screw I found the thing back so that the screw is in hole number four. Did that on both sides, and I think the idea is when you press the silver, it's kind of hard to see on here. Probably, at least I think it is. At least it is on my little screen. If you press the press in on that guy there, that will illustrate from the back side, maybe by shining a little light, or oh, there, no. I'm going to hold this in my mouth, as you can hopefully see there's a little it pushes out a little piece of plastic in there, which I believe is going to line up with the button on the drive. Then, um, when you when that pushes the button, the door will come out, and that will open up this. So, and these are kind of tapered. There's one on either side. So I think the drive is supposed to gently push open that door enough to stick it out, and then when it retracts, you're just looking at the plain front of the th thing. Don't know. Don't know if I like it or not. I don't know if they have any way of being able to see when the light is flashing. That's something I always 
enjoy. So at least I know something's happening. Maybe. But anyway, get the power hooked up for that. Um, probably be a good idea before I really mount the thing in here to stick the hard drive in, which I haven't gotten out yet. Hang on. Okay. I have the drives mounted. The DVD is still as it was. Put the hard drive down on the bottom. I figure it can get a little bit more airflow in case it gets hot. Um, the SATA cords, no big deal. Just came with two and plug them straight from the motherboard up into the drives. Power, just grabbed one of those, put it in. Another supervisor. And we will get this lowered down in place here. And as luck would have it, the screw holes line up. So I'm going to put those two screws back in. And I think I'm going to call it a night. It's a Saturday night and I'm doing laundry. So. Anyway, that's that for now. I'll see you in the morning, or in the afternoon tomorrow. Hello everybody, welcome back. I know it. I, you haven't been gone long. Here we are. Such as it is. And I, it's Sunday afternoon. And I haven't turned it on yet. I have, however, set up the monitor. And got everything plugged in, unpacked the keyboard and the mouse, put batteries in them because they are wireless. There is a little USB dongle for the keyboard back in there, plugged in the Cat 45. No, not that cat. But I think it's ready to turn on for the first time. And of course it's bad luck to put the case on before your first power up, so let's see what we get. And on the screen. Got this set up with HDMI. American Megatrends. No boot device. Hey, that is a good sign. There's another cat, but not Cat 45. That is Puff. Do we have a reset button? I don't think so. Let's try the power. I must have missed. Press a key to enter setup. Delete, escape to enter setup. Entering setup, ha <laughs> ha. There we are, ha <laughs> ha. Set the date and time. Well, the date is definitely not right. Processor Intel Core i5, 4590. It recognizes it, that's a good sign. 3.3 gigahertz. Speed, 3300 megahertz. That would be 3.3 gigahertz if you think about it. Total memory 16, big DDR3, that is all good. System date Monday 126, 2015. It is not Monday 26. It is Sunday the 25th. And let's see. The let's see, 242 on Sunday the 25th, Eastern Standard Time, under mostly snowy skies. Oops, let's see, up, down, plus, minus, edge down. Okay. 26. Enter. That's the thing. That's the ticket. Yeah, that's a ticket. 2015. What did I say the time was? I 
two four B two, so fourteen forty two oops dang it fourteen Stop. Uh, there we are. Fourteen, forty-four, fourteen, forty-three minus. Yeah, call forty-four. Close enough. Enter. Okay, time to install Windows. So there we have Windows. Let's see how this works. I haven't tried it yet. Push the That's certainly interesting. We can't doesn't open as nice and neat as we had thought. Might have to move the drive up just a little bit. Okay, hang on. See, I told you it was bad luck to put the case on. I'm not sure I'm having great luck anyway. Um, screw here, as you can probably see, is in the third slot. Originally it was in the fourth slot. I tried it here once, pushed the button, and it didn't seem to work. And I moved up to the second slot, and I couldn't get the drive moved all the way in. So, I uh, put it back to the third slot, and... It appears to be better than before. Might take a little bit of a little bit more pressure, but it does slide open like that. So we'll come over here to our Windows disk. Put that in. Not sure I'm sold on this design, but I don't uh, can't say as I use it all that much. Yeah, at least I haven't been using it all that much. We'll see. Okay. Press a key. But you may not have noticed from before. Hey, Windows is loading files. What you may not have noticed before is that uh, when we were in the setup, I, did, I don't think I saved the date and the time. Yet it got saved. Maybe that was just a function of going from screen to screen that got saved. But it was correct. I uh, got out and saved it again because I thought, oh, crud, I'm going to have to change it. But uh, it was fine. So you may also, well, ooh, starting Windows, making progress. Um, you may have noticed this monitor here. This is a monitor that I'd forgotten I had. It was sitting behind me on the other desk of junk. So. Um, it's not hooked up at the moment. I may try to, I mean, it's just straight 15-pin uh, VGA. I may try to do a DVI to VGA adapter to see if I can get it to work. Since I don't have a, uh, a larger second monitor at the moment. So, anyway, um, let's see. Do we have a mouse? We have a mouse. It works. So, that is good. So anyway, I will uh, continue with the Windows setup and get back with you when something interesting happens. Now well, you'll see that the case is on now. I did that because I was not making some progress. And I wanted to have something I could show for my efforts. Now, like I say, I've hit some snags. And the biggest snag caused me to reinstall all of Windows. So, um, and that's when I started loading the drivers. Because after you load Windows, you stick the disk in that came with the motherboard and start installing your drivers for the chipset and, oh, video and network and all that. And when I did that, I lost my keyboard and mouse. And I've been going through this. Installed a few. 
And I think my problem was that I tried to install everything all at once. And Windows just didn't like getting all these updates. So what I did was I'd come in here and everything is checked. What I did was after, when you stick the, the disk in, it auto starts to this shuttle menu out here. I chose the auto install driver utility, which is this here. Everything's selected. When I, and when I think auto install, I think it just go through and do them all. But what I've been doing that seems to be working is, yeah, excuse you, is I hitting the clear button. Yeah, you can see better. Sorry about that. Hitting the clear button instead of installing them all at once. I've been going through clicking on one, coming down doing install, uh, rebooting, doing the next one, and so on. I've done the list down. I did the VGA driver. Next one is audio driver. Seem to be getting sound now uh, from the VGA, but uh, we'll try it just in case. So. What I've been doing is like when you click, select one of the things and click on install, it takes it a couple minutes as it reads it in and then uh, it'll say that it was successfully installed. Hello again. It's always important to have quality supervision. So We'll see a green bar across there. Some of them take longer than others. But uh, after it reboots, I've got an icon for Notepad that after I think the second time I made a shortcut to the desktop. Just so I can bring it up real quick, type some keys on the keyboard and make sure that's still functioning. I even pulled out another USB keyboard I had. This one's wireless and runs off a dongle. I probably would prefer the PS2 keyboard that seems to be a bit more direct. But there's no jack on the back for it, so... This is taking its time on this one. Anyway, um, I'm going to proceed on through here, but if you're trying it, uh, I would probably suggest to take them one at a time. So, anyway, seems like it's doing something now, but hard drive light's certainly flashing. Anyway, I'll be back when something interesting happens. Hello again. Oh, there we go. Hey, yeah, something interesting happened. See, we've got the green bar all at once. Restart computer now. Yep, there it goes. And shutting down. I'll just show you the whole process. Just for fun. Meanwhile, here's one of the cats. A little nugget. When is it starting? It's his tail. When is it still starting? Back, mouse works. Notepad. Come on, notepad. And yeah, I'm getting letters, so that's good. So hello again. So then I do Windows E to bring up the Explorer. And I do the setup again. Yep, I want to do that. Auto install. I do a clear. And I just did the audio, so now I'm going to do the LAN. So I'm almost there, so I won't let you, I won't keep you. I'll be back when something interesting happens. Okay, made it through uh, 
all the drivers. So now we want to get up to date. Windows update. And check for updates. And away we go. While that's doing its thing, we will get the driver disk back. See, that's how the uh, thing works. Doesn't Not as out as far as I would like it to be, but uh, I suppose it does give it a clean look. Another thing while we're waiting on that is uh, on the front you can open that up and you've got two USB 2.0, two USB 3.0, and your analog audio in and outs. Not so sure about. Um, I'm, I'm going to like this little door here. So I think I'm going to have it open a lot. I think. We'll see. Uh, the old PC had them um, exposed on the front. So we'll see. What happened to Windows Update? Hard drive light's still going. It was checking for updates. I haven't activated Windows yet. When I first installed it, I said to activate it when I got online, but then second time I thought I'd hold off activating it, so maybe it's going through and doing some of that. Back in the XP days, I think I remembered an activate Windows option. We do have internet. Low puff. Quality supervision is an important thing. Yeah, and I can get to different sites. So, uh, not so sure what happened to Windows Update. No tasks. Interesting. Anyway, back in the keep you. So I'll be back. And we're back. A somewhat delayed we're back because I recorded the last segment of the video on January 25th, and today is March 1st. The whole month of February has gone by. And what's happened? Well, mostly set up software and the like. As you can see, kind of behind my cat there, I do have a second monitor working. This is a monitor I got for about 20 bucks, I think, at a ham fest. For those of you not familiar with what a ham fest is, it's like an electronics flea market for ham radio type people. Yes, I am a ham. Um, we're amateur radio operators, the, as some people like to say. Anyway, I've also moved the... Uh, why do you keep getting in the way? Moved the shelf over that had been on the right side over to the left. There's a VCR under it for doing video capture. I've got a cable right here, a diamond one-touch, which... It's not fancy, but uh, it's USB and it gets the job done when I need it. The why are you here right when I'm trying to video? <clears throat> so anyway, got the TARDIS USB hub up. It's working. The here, move along. There's also my Drobo hiding back under there, and my hard drive docking station, which I use from time to time. Speakers are both hooked up. They were a little bit further apart than they were before with the 19 or no 21 inch I forget the old uh, CRT monitors. So I had to get a uh, extension cable to go between but that that only took like a day or so to come and high atop the speaker it's my USB missile launcher which is controlled over here you're again, you're in the way. Um, so, not normally with 
the uh, TARDIS sound. See if I can hold the camera and control it while a cat's standing in front of me and what I need to see. And if you push the red button in the middle, it's up, down, left, right. Press the red button in the middle. Let's try that again. And suddenly the cats leave. No, I did not put it here to shoot at the cats. But uh, nonetheless, there it is. So it's been a month. Um, High at the top here is a Logitech webcam that I just got yesterday. No, two days ago. Uh, today is Sunday. It was Friday that I got it after work. Um, Radio Shacks are closing up all over the place and they're discounting their stuff by 50%. So I didn't have a webcam uh, for my desktop and I thought it was a good time to get one cheap. So. It's, uh, if it works, great. If it doesn't, I'm not out full price. <coughs> the, um, the monitor over here is hooked up to the DVI. It's a 15-pin VGA analog, so it's DVI analog as opposed to DVI digital. So it is working, though. So it's a smaller monitor, 19-inch, I don't know but it was cheap, I had it, and it's working, and it seems to fit in okay. The, uh, other than that, the desk is um, more or less set up. There's still junk which tends to accumulate, which I just haven't found a place for yet. But, like I say, cleaning isn't so much the actual putting away of things, it's shuffling the mess this desk. You will see in the next video. It was actually clean for it, but it's going to be my project desk. This is where I do audio stuff. So it kind of has most of the stuff that I shuffled off and didn't have a place to put. However, that's changing. There's not a whole lot left there. The table over there still has all the papers on it which need to be sorted, filed, put away, shredded, thrown away, etc. So, and right in front of you is the first part of the edit of the video you're seeing right now, minus what I'm saying right now. So, this is Pinnacle Studio 18. I had 15, and it had some issues on this one. Uh, apparently, no longer you can, the plugins don't work as well. Uh, or can't load them off their website, even though I, I paid for it, and it was working at one time on the old PC. So anyway, new software, it's up to date, and I guess that's about it for this video. PC's up and running. Cats are usually up and running. And if I have anything more to say, I'll post that as an addendum at some point in time, but I don't think so. I think this one is in the books. It's done. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you like tech projects. I'll probably have stuff other than tech at some point. There's more coming too this year. Probably in the next month, I'm guessing. Once I clear off that desk. Hint, hint. So, and I'm getting things ready for it. So, stay tuned. Subscribe check back, etc. Thanks for watching.